Hey guys, Blazefire here. As much as it pains me to talk about this subject, I feel you all have the right to know. And um, if you guys don't know what's been going on recently in the Brony community, a Brony reviewer named Toon Critic Y2K has been engaging in sexually explicit chats with an underage girl. And I just wanted to talk about my thoughts on this subject and just all of it in general. So this is going to be a completely serious video. So I don't know Toon Critic Personally, I don't know him like really that at all that much. All I know about him is from YouTube. I've been watching him since 2013 on YouTube. Um, and I, I, I'm not. I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. Um, he's the one that I looked up to. Toon Critic was funny. He he made he changed a lot of people's lives. He's done so much, but now now he has thrown that all in the garbage. He's thrown that all away. He's lost all respect for me, all of his friends all of his family, but most importantly, he has lost all respect from his victims. And yes, he has been doing this more than one time, um, but he is being dealt with with the right authorities now, um, so... I just, and the yesterday or a couple of days ago um I watched the video on rainbow or lightning bliss and he, she was reacting to a um the team fortress 2 things that she does the little series and she was so hurt by Toon Critic that whenever he came on screen, she actually had a smile on her face, but then when he came on screen, the smile went away and she looked away. And that, that shows you how much you hurt somebody. If they don't even look at you and remember the good times that you guys had, um... It sucks, and that shows you how much Toon hurt everybody. All of his fans, all of his family, all of his friends. His friends don't even talk to him anymore. They've, they've completely locked him out of their lives. They've blocked him from any social media. I've blocked him from all of my social media because because I don't want to deal with a pedophile. I don't want to deal with someone that does this stuff. Because this is borderline illegal. You cannot do this. There is absolutely no excuse. When I first heard about this, I was shocked. A brony reviewer named Toon Critic Y2K that I and many others looked up to. We all feel betrayed by him. Every single one of us feel betrayed. And it it really sucks, guys. Um I meant to make this video on January 29th 
that was the planned upload date and to make the video um and these wounds now it is time for the wounds to heal and the these wounds will heal for all of the friends lightning bliss mad munchkin dr wolf and many more all of these wounds will heal but there will always and i mean always be a scar left over to show how deep Toon made these wounds and the scars there to show how badly you hurt all of us and if any of Toon's friends are watching this I am so sorry that you had to go through this and I'm so sorry that you're watching this right now. I know you guys want to heal from this. You don't want to ever talk, hear about this really ever again, but I just needed to tell my point. And I respect you guys. This is the only video I'm pretty much ever going to make about this guy. Because now he he's he's just a monster. A big evil monster. And yeah guys he he has made so much people happy. He's done so much things good things but then there was also the darker side of him that a lot of us did not know about and it's sad to say but he has problems he really do does have problems and i hope he's been taken care of and getting that help sorted out because he really needs this help. So, um, yeah guys. Uh, Um, I had to go take a little breather real quick because this is insanity. I had to go take a breather. Uh, so, I just can't believe this. I, I, to this day, even I have wounds that need to be healed. Everybody does. But most importantly... His victims are the ones that he has affected the most. His victims. Uh, those wounds are going to take a very, very, very long time to heal. Some of his victims, maybe some of his friends, family, maybe those wounds won't heal. There are, There is still forgiveness, but at this point, forgiveness is not an option. And yes, I watched Dr. Wolf's video and he talked about that forgiveness thing. Me, myself, I can't, I, I can't forgive him. I'm so sorry. I can't forgive this guy right now. Maybe if he shows one day, if he comes back, which I think would be a horrible idea, he should just, after, even if he gets out of prison, he might be life in prison, but if he does get out, 
he should just just get a job, live life to the fullest, because now he is going to be known as a pedophile. It's going to be on this guy's record. So he should just rethink his life and move forward. Because at this point, I don't think any of us wants you to come back, Toon. I'm just being brutally honest. I think you should never come back to you YouTube. That's just my take on it. I don't think you should be back on Twitter. I don't think you should be back on Divine Art, Tumblr, Patreon. I don't think you should be on any of these. Just, just stay off of them. Just live your life to the fullest. Because now you have scarred yourself. You put yourself in this situation. And now it is time to pay the consequences. So yes, guys, I considered him my friend. I didn't know know him personally, but I consider I considered him one of my friends. Now to me, he is just a burning reminder, and he is a monster to me now. I th I thought I, I thought I knew him. I thought I knew this guy because I've watched so many videos back in the day before all this stuff has happened and I thought I knew this guy and I considered him my friend but now he has betrayed all of us and it's it's done nothing nothing more to this could be said other than, I hope you rot in prison, Toon. I really do. I know that's a little harsh to say, but uh, these were his decisions. He took the bad road. He didn't take the good routes down the good path. He took the bad route, and... Now he's got to pay. He's got to pay for his consequences. So, you guys to tell I am being serious because this is not a joke matter. This is an absolute serious subject. Pedophilia, if you're an adult, like Toon Critic, Y2K was a 24-year-old man talking to a 14-year-old girl, which her name, she wants to be as anonymous as possible. So, I don't even want to say her name. I don't even want to make up a name for her, because if I make up a name for her, that could be her real name, so I don't even want to call her by anything. But he's 24 and she is 14. He knew what he was doing. And this is just borderline wrong, illegal, disgusting. And this is just, this burns a bad reputation in the Brony community. This burns a hole into the Brony community, showing people that there are bronies that are pedophiles and this guy made it 10 times worse not just there's not just brony pedophiles there's they're everywhere they're not just bronies but this guy showed the evil and dark side of what some bronies have and no, we are not all like this. It's just the person that makes themselves like this. And every video I watch of him now, 
either I I don't laugh, I look away from the screen, I close my eyes, I try to ignore his voice, or in the worst case scenario, I will turn off the video and have to go and get up and walk out of the room. That was not like that a couple years ago. I used to laugh with Adam, not Adam, but like with him. I used to laugh at the videos he's in now. It just, I just can't, I don't want to see his face. And every picture I see of him or his OC, it just disgusts me. So I think I'm starting to ramble on now, guys. So I think you get the gist of it if... These are for the people that didn't know what has happened. So yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And leave a comment of how you guys feel about this. See you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.